as a worker, I think it's right for me to stand, stand up with them and fight together for the freedom. And we cannot let nobody violate our right. It's against the law. So today, I'm here to let the people know where I am joined the workers of Florida Airport. My, my boss has been fired me today because I'm fighting to get uh, like uh, make my, my co-workers, all my people who have been Haitian like me, I fight to see if they can get the living wage. I got more workers involved. That's why the, the managers go, he go terminal on terminal and say, union is bad. Who, who is not true? Because I'm trying to be to be the leaders for other co-workers. And then everybody being approached to me and asked me about the union. He wanna make everybody people like be scared. That's why he kicked me out. So he always get peace in, peace in mind because I'm not there. I had the job, I can't even survive. Right now I have none. What I gonna do? This is just a perfect example of what we consider modern day slavery. Where you have workers that's fighting to just make a decent living and unfortunately they're being disenfranchised with just low wages. So this gentleman has been fired for no reason, for being a leader to be honest. So as I continue to go out to um, just make it aware in the community as well as also to get clergy involved. We want to bring this to an end, but we also want the public and the community to know exactly how these workers are actually being treated. So this is what we're about to do We're going forward. We want the community to get involved. We want clergy to get more involved and stand behind and support these workers that's being treated unfairly. You know, it's unfair that immigrant workers, especially the Haitian immigrant workers here are facing uh, this type of persecution for being part of a union, uh, for supporting their, their fellow workers. Um, I think that you know we, we should come together and continue supporting uh, these workers and continue supporting the union uh, because we really need like better wages. I mean, I'm a low wage worker myself, and um, and, and I, I know what it is to live in poverty. And so supporting these workers is really important. There's gonna be times along the way that blockades are going to be put in our way, but we have to be strong, we have to push them aside, and we have to push through. All of us know that our goal is to be treated with dignity, to be able to have the right, to be able to have a living wage, to be able to support our families. We're not looking to be rich, we're just looking to be compensated for the work we do. We're all excellent workers, we provide good service to the customers, we provide good service in whatever our job, our jobs are. And so all, the only thing that we have to demand is that we get the respect that we deserve and we have to be able to be able to keep pushing through until we come to an agreement with management so that we can see them eye to eye and we don't have to look upon them and more importantly have them look down on us.